Man comes to the ring. championship title one fall 15 minute time limit introducing first from hollywood california the challenger 239 pounds hollywood john tatum and with him from society's 400 missy hyatt the television champion from St. Louis, Missouri. 239 pounds, the champion himself, King Parsons, the Iceman. Dr. Lubitsch, your referee. Oh my goodness, here we go. <laughs> Say boo. Now you remember this week, sucker. Ain't no such thing as time out. Man with comments. TV title now, here we go. I set the stage for you earlier in reminding you about what happened last week, resulting in tonight's action. Missy Hyde, of course, in all her glory is with us. And Tatum is helping her out of the ring, and I guess we're going to start the chair quest again. Tatum has the chair. And there's Missy waiting, and there's the bell sounded by Joe Ranelli. Speaking of Missy Hyatt, it reminds me of the Hyatt Regency's great deal for the Turkey Day Spectacular. As you see, Miss Hyatt sit down as only she can sit. There's that $45 a night deal. The Wednesday and Thursday and Friday through Thanksgiving, through the holidays, the 27th through the 29th, you can have one of, two of, or all three of those nights for $45 a night as a part of the big world-class special for the Turkey Day Spectacular taking place at Reunion Arena next door. That is a tremendous bargain at one of the world's most beautiful hotels. So whether you live in town or out of town, you'll want to take advantage of that and really live it up on Thanksgiving. Tatum has Missy grinning and ooing and eyeing at his big muscles there she is she likes it when her man is dishing out punishment over in the rope Tatum reaches across with a leg and is already punishing the ice man Tatum held this belt for 10 weeks winning ten thousand dollars actually 20 when you include the individual night purses then lost it last week in his first defense on the second go around and tries to get the belt back here in the rematch with the Iceman tonight. Parsons right over here above us. Remember, your commentators are on the back of the ring now with our new banner on the front. Tatum with a drive. Near side corner. Tatum drives a foot into the throat. From the right side, left side, rebound. Nice man, leaps across, turns, and lets him have a big one. Nice man now wants to jab and weave, and Missy Hyde won't even watch. Checking the paint on her fingernails as the ice man floors Hollywood John. She ignores it when her man gets in trouble. And that's exactly what Tatum is in right now. Tatum bails out to the floor. Tatum with JT on the blue tights moves around behind us. 
good is Missy. There she is. Now Tatum is joined with the fans. He's hurting at the same time. And Missy now wants him back in. She doesn't like it when things don't go well. She doesn't offer condolences and sympathy. She says get in there and do it. out over the crowd as Tatum looks out as if though to greet Tommy Maxwell and Utah V. Holmes. Here's Iceman now with a foot. What's he going to do? Is he going to spin him? There he is. Around he goes. And down he goes. pick him up and throw him over the rope. He hit him and he went over, so there is no stoppage at the bout. And Missy is thoroughly disgusted. And she jumps up in a grimace as the Iceman was right over there in her face. A horrified Missy Hyatt. more time out. He didn't learn his lesson last week. That cost him the bout. Michael Lubitsch with the count. Big crowd on hand tonight, and they are really into the action. Bronco Lubitsch trying to keep Tatum busy. Boy, it should be a while later on this evening when Tatum returns to the ring to face Scott Casey and Sunshine will be out. Neither one of these girls are afraid of each other, but the feelings are not too hot between them. And although they dislike each other, as I say, they are not afraid. Tatum out with the crowd again. Now, Missy looks angry, and Tatum is trying to get her to settle down. Uh-oh. Missy is not used to not getting what she wants. If she doesn't get it the first time, she goes out and buys it. Here's Tatum trying to sneak up behind the Iceman. Next week on our show, you folks in Wolf City, Guthrie. McAllister, Rockwall, and Frisco will be read it here about exciting world-class news. Speaking of that, congratulations are in order to the Big Kiwanis Club in Hot Springs, Arkansas for the great night the other night as Tatum makes it a not-so-great night for the Iceman. Once again, congratulations to the Kiwanis and Hot Springs for helping world-class wrestling to continue to be the number one fundraiser for a nonprofit organization. Tatum. Tatum hollering at me back here as Iceman grimaces in pain. Tatum with an elbow. No, Missy's all smiles again now. Tatum stepping across. Paid him back with a stump. Here's a pin. Bronco with a count of just two. Rainbow Ticketmaster, the place to get those good seats for the Cotton Bowl, or rather the Reunion Arena Turkey Day Spectacular. Of course, you fans who attend the bouts in person on Monday nights and Friday nights have the chance to pick up those really special choice seats from the best locations in East Price Range that are pulled out of the computers and brought down to the building specifically for you in-person fans. 
If for some reason you can't be with us Monday night or Friday night, stop by any Rainbow Ticketmaster outlet. And during the first fall of our TV main event, I'll be giving you the mail order, Visa, and MasterCard information. Nice man with a headbutt, and Tatum is already dazed. Nice man. With that arm hurting, reaches up. Another headbutt for Hollywood John. Elbow. The ebb and flow of this bout is very pronounced. First one man in charge, then the other. As Tatum now will bar the left arm of the Iceman and let him have a boot to the rib cage. to pick up a point or two here and get back in the bout. Nice man, always quick, always exciting. One of the most popular figures with the world class as he takes Tatum over. TV belt on the line. Nice man defending tonight for 1,000. man obviously in pain as you tell by the as you can tell by the grimace on his face as Missy Hyatt looks on with a beaming smile Tatum the big blonde with his own blonde at ringside there she is giving new meaning to the word vivacious each and every week Finds himself in the midst of an Iceman arm. My, oh, but he grabs him by the hair while Bronco Lovitz was trying to get Missy to sit down. That looked like deliberate distraction by Miss Hyatt. Ten minutes, five minutes remaining. I don't know where Missy got her money, but hopefully we can answer that question before too long. But she's definitely got it. I've heard from too many folks that she has. And it's easy come, easy go. She gets it easily and she spends it easy. Now here goes Missy again. She's distracting the referee. And again, Tatum uses the hair. So they've been working together. She knows what she's doing and she's proud of it. Tatum. Trying to regain the TV belt. Over and down. Let's see who gets up first. Tatum is up. Tatum now backhands. Iceman in the corner. Locks that arm over the rope and bends it. Making noise for the Iceman as Tatum pulls him over with the flying mare, drops a knee onto the arm. Tatum hollering at the referee for a give up, meaning submission. Iceman with another. Tatum tries, and he learns a lesson. Tatum has fallen completely out of the ring in a daze. Only three minutes remaining. You know, instead of Missy Hyatt running around to help him, she just sits there in disgust, as if though she's angry with him. No help whatsoever. There's Iceman with a backhand right in front of Missy. Another one down goes Tatum on the cement. 
and Missy just walks away with her back turned to her man Tatum. Here they come back to the ring. Missy turned her back and walked away. Acts like she's appalled by the whole thing. Iceman with a pin, could be, might be, but Tatum somehow says no. What about this has turned into? Two minutes, only two minutes remaining. Only two minutes remaining as Iceman takes big Hollywood John over with a suplex. Here's another pin for two, and well, he got a foot in the rope. A shoulder came up that time. The ropes, left side. And the abdominal stretch is applied by the Iceman. Tatum riding the rack, trying to bend his body over where Iceman can't get too much leverage and finally does enough bending over to pull him over the hip. Nice move by Tatum. Here's the Iceman now. He's not going to let him crawl out of the ring. Not going to let him kill any time like we've seen him do before, which he has nothing to gain tonight since he has to regain the belt rather than defend it. There's a surprising kick from the ropes. Only one minute remaining, only 60 seconds. We have only one minute remaining in our time limit. Where's Tatum going? Iceman has him and is pulling him back in the ring. Missy is thoroughly disgusted. Here's the Iceman beginning to jab away on Tatum. Look at Missy. Iceman with the pin. One, two, and Tatum keeps it going. We're going down to the wire. The rebound. Iceman got the side of the hip around, takes him down for two, and almost three. Fans thought Iceman had put him away. Here's a small package. Tatum is pinned, and he just won't go down. About five seconds remaining, if I'm reading the watch correctly. But the tights, he has him. But there's the bell. And I believe, of course, the Iceman will keep the belt. Neither wrestler able to gain a pinfall advantage, a time limit draw. The TV champion does keep the belt in the draw. Well, Iceman shouldn't be too upset. An exciting bout. He looked good. He retains the belt as Tatum has an angry young lady hanging over his head. Stay with us. We'll be back to talk to Percy Pringle for the first time. Brian Adias and the Iceman when World Class Championship Wrestling returns on Championship Sports.